All right, guys, you, a bunch of you guys have asked for this, and wait a minute, it's on the Mini 8. The heck is it doing on? Well, first, what we gotta do, we gotta go slow to go fast. So, that being said, it, it's kind of senseless to test something out at over a hundred miles an hour, and that's if it works. And all you're gonna see that wing do is go down once and go up once. This you're gonna see it go up, down, up, down, because I can stop, go, stop, go. You know, if I do that with, what, a 2700 kV TP motor, you know, it's gonna heat up that XLX pretty good. So, I'm very excited, by the way. If you haven't noticed, I'm talking really, really quick. <laughs> Without further ado, let's test this thing out. Have the body off. It's a Mini 8T running 3S. On. Come on. Come on. There we go. <laughs> nice. All right, we're in action. Have this thing mounted on the remote. Let's try it out. Oh, that is nippy. That works. That apps. <laughs> Can't say much more than that. That is awesome. Let's do a couple drag pulls, actually. Let's see this wing fly down. Uh, now, speaking of drag pulls and wheeling, you know, off the starting line, obviously a bunch of the bashers are going to wheelie anyway. So it's not like this wing will help or the uh, opposite, you know. But as I give full throttle, you know, obviously if there's wind coming, it's going to make rear downforce. When you have rear downforce, it's going to make the rear squat, raise the front end up, you know. So it's not going to exactly influence a wheelie. So uh, it's, I'm not sure if it's going to negate it or anything else. Oh, I'm in a shadow. I am a shadow. Um... Sorry, I got distracted, but we're gonna do a couple drag pulls. Let's try to angle this up. All right, you guys ready? This Mini 8T is absolutely insane on three cell. It's only running a uh, J Relics 3930 kV motor, so it's not like it's got like 5,000 or whatever kV. For a little tiny thing this is, no, it's under, it's under 4,000. So here, now we're going to test the stopping. Man, that, that's, that's good. Now we're just going to drive it around for a little bit. You guys can see that wing work. around the cones or the little potholes. Man, that is that is just awesome. Oh, I'm actually gonna step out of the light. You guys probably can't see. more I use this, the more I like it. I, I really do. Look at that wing. That's a flat wing. That is absolutely insane. I really love this thing. All right, I'm gonna put the body on real quick. And that's quick enough. There we go. I just love it. So now, I, what I do want to do in the future, now I'm not sure if I could use the same chassis, reason being this might be too small. Uh, you know, I, I can't say that. I don't know, to be real honest. Now, as we saw back in my house, uh, with the Tomahawks, you know, you have aero panels turning left and right. You know, whenever I make a left-hand turn or a right-hand turn, I do want there to be something like, uh, I guess, how'd it go, how'd it go, how'd it go? Um, all right, if we're making a left turn, we're going to want to 
we're gonna want wind to push us that way. So if we have like a flat plane right here and I make a left and it goes like that, you know, it's gonna to wanna to direct the wind more in a fashion to influence it to turn to the left and vice versa with the right. I'm not gonna repeat the right. <laughs> um, but yeah, you know, my, my brain, there's just so much potential as to what you can do with these things, not just driving them and, oh, I got new tires, you know, cool. But there's so much stuff you could do with these little RC cars, and not little, but with these cars, you know, and I, speaking of tires, I do need new ones. These are just $8 tires from eBay. So, joke's on me, I kind of need new tires. But, I'm so happy about this. I am just super happy. Now that I know that it works, all I gotta do is find a way to reinforce it and make it stronger. Because I, I guarantee you, you know, this servo at 100, you know, at 100 mile an hour winds, as the wind's coming up, let's say I hit the brakes. There you go. Now we have the brakes set, the wind is up. I guarantee you it's gonna wanna bend backwards or probably brake and strip the gears in a little, in a little tiny baby uh, track, well it's not little, but in the standard Traxxas servos. So I kind of doubt that it would ha handle anything past 80, 90, let alone 110, 120, 130, you know, and so on. But there's all, the, there's so much room for improvement in this, in this whole hobby, you know, I, I, I just, I'm really happy to see something I've been wanting to do for, how, how old is this game, or how long ago did I get that car on Gran Turismo? Four years ago, you know, uh, my junior year of high school, I am now two years out of high school, I'm, I'm working a full-time job now, so it's kind of a thing of my past, and I made it real, uh, if you see the point, and I made it real. You know, so it might be simple and all that, you know, but to rig it up really took a lot of thought. I am so happy this thing actually works. I thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.